These slides are going to cover lipids and lipoprotein metabolism. Uh, I've broken these sets of slides up into multiple parts as opposed to one continuous presentation to make it easier for you to skip between videos um, or to get to particular pieces of information that you're more interested in as opposed to having to scroll through the entire presentation. So let's start with uh, what are lipoproteins. These diagrams are cross-sections through the various lipoproteins and they illustrate the compositional differences that you get in the different types of lipoproteins. So you can see that all are made up of phospholipid, a particular apolipoprotein, cholesterol ester, as well as triglyceride stored in the center of the lipoprotein. Uh, here you see colomicron and colomicron remnants. They are distinguished primarily by the fact that they have an ApoB48 apolipoprotein. This is the main defining characteristic for a colomicron. You can see that the colomicron and its remnant do differ in the fact that the uh, colomicron contains several A apolipoproteins while the remnant contains ApoE and ApoC. VLDL is a similar particle, however this particle is produced in the liver and its primary apolipoprotein is B100. It also contains ApoE and ApoC and it progresses from a uh, triglyceride rich VLDL through to IDL and then ends its life as an LDL particle. And you can see the progression and the loss of ApoC from uh, VLDL to IDL and then uh, from IDL to LDL is the loss of ApoE. LDL also, uh, if it's not removed from circulation by the liver, it can be further uh, delipidated and compacted into the small dense LDL, which is a very atherogenic particle. And as well, the ApoB100 moiety can be modified with additional uh, protein tags and in so producing lipoprotein A, um, which is a derivative of LDL. And then finally you have the HDL particles. The nascent HDL particle, which is lipid poor, uh, and the HDL particle, uh, which is uh, much more lipid rich, containing high amounts of cholesterol, as well as some triglyceride. The major lipid and lipoproteins associated with each of these various lipoproteins is listed here. Colomicrons primarily contain triacylglycerides and its primary apolipoprotein is B48. VLDL contains both phospholipid and TAG. Its primary apolipoproteins are B100, E, and C. Uh, IDL contains a mixture of TAG, cholesterol, and phospholipid. Its primary apolipoproteins are ApoB100 and ApoE. LDL contains primarily cholesterol but also phospholipid. Its primary apolipoprotein is ApoB100. HDL particles tend to contain higher levels of cholesterol and phospholipid. They contain the apolipoproteins A1 and A2. And lipoprotein A primarily contains cholesterol. It contains a B100 apolipoprotein but as well a modified ApoA. So here's a side-by-side -side comparison showing you the physical characteristics of the different lipoproteins. You can see that the density is quite different as you go from colomicrons to HDL in that the density is increasing and this is a measure of density not concentration here. Uh, the diameter of these particles because you remember you have to think of these as spherical objects so the diameter of these objects of these particles so the diameter of these particles ranges from colomicrons being anywhere from 100 to 1200 nanometers uh, with HDL being anywhere from 7 to 12 nanometers. The composition of each particular lipoprotein differs substantially as well. When you look at, it, look at it in terms of dry weight percentage where you have a higher degree of protein present in an HDL particle uh, versus a high amount of lipid being present in a colomicron. And there's variation as you proceed across the various lipoprotein species. And this diagram here at the bottom is giving you an indication of particle size difference. Uh, and so again, think of these as spherical particles and you can see substantial difference as you move from colomicron down to HDL particles. So up to this point we know that lipoproteins are the bulk lipid transport system for the body. Each class of lipoproteins is specialized to transport a specific type of lipid, um, but they contain all types of lipids. 
Their biological importance is that lipoproteins are specific to a particular biological process, whether that's the digestion of lipids, dealing with postprandial lipids, or addressing lipid metabolism in the fasted state.